So are things as bad as everybody say it is? Because there's lots of negative stuff you can find on YouTube. Crash is coming. End is near. Flames out there. Banks are closing. Federal chairman, uh, central bank chairman that's retiring this month actually wrote an article and said, you know what? The consumer sentiment is not matching the real data. And what he pointed out, he said, if you take the time... If you take the time to look at the numbers, he goes, you're going to see that inflation's coming down. Unemployment is staying steady and GDP is still growing. He said, going into the fourth quarter, we're probably still going to see positive GDP. And the likeliness of a recession is kind of looking less and less. And if it does show up, he said, according to the data, looks like it might be mild. Now, the Wall Street Journal did a survey of economists. 63% of them now say they don't think we're going to have a recession. Now, it's possible that 63% of them are wrong, but that news never seems to make it out there. That won't make it into a crash video. You know what? What if we don't have a crash? What if things muddle along like this for a few years, maybe even a decade? What's it going to look like? But that's not popular and it doesn't sell. Good morning. Hi. And so that doesn't get views, so nobody talks about it. But I think we need to ask ourselves, what if there's no crash? Is it possible? I think it's just as possible as what if there is a crash? I mean, if there is a crash, that's easy. A lot of us are broke or unemployed, lost value in our houses. What if that doesn't happen? What if they do have this miracle called the soft landing where inflation is tamed without breaking anything? More and more economists are taking a hard look at this right now and saying, well, that's, that could happen. And even JP Morgan, was it JP Morgan? No, it was Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs came out talking about real estate and said, yeah, it's slow. Transactions are down about 40%. Not prices, transactions. And they said, our estimates say we're going to be in this spot until the year 2027. That's a long time. We tend to think in one and three month increments. Real estate doesn't turn fast. There's times when it falls off the face of the earth, but it's rare. So we could just be muddling along like this for a long time. Now I'm standing out in this field here. I'm going to turn around, break away from real estate for just a second. I'm going to show you this really cool deer in the field here. See if we can see it out there. See him walking. Sorry, just had to show that. <laughs> um, so it's possible that real estate is just going to be stuck for a while. We don't always have to have a crash or a calamity for things to naturally correct themselves. I do have a concern on national debt. It's just way, way out of control. I don't know how that's going to land. I think the debt fuse has been lit. I just debt bomb has been lit. I don't know how long the fuse is. That could cause us a problem and some credit tightening. But the numbers aren't backing that up yet. There are some indications that our interest payments on the debt are going up a lot higher than they should be, hitting records. That's worth keeping an eye on. And you never know how that's going to shake out. But crash, crash, crash. What drives me nuts is this has now turned into an industry on YouTube of let's get negative, let's get views and see what happens instead of let's take an objective look at the data and make our own decisions. Now I'll look at the numbers and I'll share them with you and you can determine whether or not you think those numbers are good for real estate or bad for real estate based on what I'm sharing. That's the goal that I have here. I agree with Michael Zuber, who this morning said he's one rental at a time. I do watch him. Not every time, but occasionally. And he said, and this advice was for investors. He said, you know what? If you're an investor right now and you're trying to pencil out a project, count on 8% mortgages. And if it's less, the math is even better. But set yourself up for anticipating 8%. Now, he wasn't saying that he predicts we're going to have 8% mortgages. In fact, he said he hopes that the Fed does not increase rates in the July meeting. He doesn't think there's a need for it. I'm kind of in that camp, too. I'd like to see him hold. But he's looking at more numbers than I am, so who knows? 
So I guess my point is, watch these videos with a grain of salt. Don't just focus on the negativity. There's plenty of that out there. And like the Fed chairman says, right now our consumer sentiment is not matching the numbers. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, but do me a favor, comment below and tell me what you think. Take care.